Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another Cook With Me video. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Christy. I'm currently following the WW Blue program, but on my channel, I do provide points for all three programs and I also share calories as well. I would love to have you as part of the family by clicking the subscribe button. Also, make sure to click the notification bell so you're notified anytime I upload new content. So in today's video, we're gonna be making apple pie bubble up. This is the recipe I found from the Skinny-ish dish. I actually did a meal prep video a couple weeks ago where I did my overnight oats recipe but I used a recipe from Emily Bites where I took her cinnamon apple stovetop cinnamon apple recipe and put it over the overnight oats it was so good and so that's where I just really wanted some more recipes but I wanted something more of an apple pie type recipe so this is one I came across and it sounds so good so I'm gonna try this now if you follow her recipe exactly as is the points will be five points for all programs and 100 152 calories but I'm making some modifications instead of regular brown sugar I'm using Lakanto in front of, instead of non-fat sour cream I'm using light and for the butter I'm using light butter so for the points and calories the way I'm making it it's gonna be three points on all programs and 130 calories if you know me I always end up changing something in the recipes. And that's what I encourage everybody to do. Take somebody's recipe and just kind of make it your own. You can make little tweaks. So I will link her recipe down in the description box below and then I'll let you know any modifications I do. So what we're gonna need for this recipe is two large apples, which I didn't have large apples, so I'm using three apples this size. And then we're gonna get those peeled and chopped into small pieces. One and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and a little extra for topping. We also need two teaspoons of vanilla extract. We also need one quarter cup of brown sugar plus two tablespoons for the topping. So for the points for her recipe, that is for regular brown sugar. But I like to use Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. Usually I have the golden kind, which is the brown sugar, and I was all out. All I had was classic left. So I did find some swerve in my cabinet. So if you use the swerve or the monk fruit sweetener, that's gonna lower the points. So for today, I'm using the swerve. And then we also need a quarter cup of sour cream. Like I said, she uses non-fat sour cream, but I didn't wanna go buy non-fat sour cream just for a quarter of a cup. So I did have some Daisy Light sour cream, so that's what I'm using. So my points are based on using the light. We also need a half a cup of water. We're also gonna need one tablespoon of butter. I'm gonna be using the Lando Lakes Light Butter. And also a half a cup of oats and also a can of biscuits. This is the 7.5 ounce. So if you don't have the 7.5 ounce can, then just make sure to weigh out the biscuits. So I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. First thing I'm gonna do is get my apples peeled and chopped up into small pieces. Okay, now we're gonna take a mixing bowl and put the apples in there. And now to the apples, we're gonna add the quarter cup of brown sugar. We're gonna add the water, half a cup of water. We're gonna add the two teaspoons of vanilla. The one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon and the sour cream. And mix that together. And now over on the stove, I have a pan sprayed with cooking spray. You can just use a regular saucepan, but I'm just gonna use this pan. I'm just gonna add the apples and just cook these until they're softened. And this needs to be on medium high heat. The next thing I'm gonna do is take the tablespoon of light butter and I'm gonna melt this in the microwave. And that only took about 10 seconds. So now I have my half a cup of oats. I'm gonna add that butter. I'm gonna add the other two tablespoons of brown sugar. And then just a few shakes of cinnamon, which I have to be careful because I don't have my shaker top on here and a pinch of salt. 
and mix that together. Then set that aside. So now what I've got is a three quart casserole, which is actually a nine by 13, and I've sprayed it with cooking spray. Now I'm gonna take my biscuits and I'm just gonna break those into small pieces on the bottom. All right, then just gonna check on the apples, see if they're, if they're still pretty firm right now. So I'm gonna let those soften a little bit. And then once these are softened, we're just gonna pour them over the biscuits and just kind of mix them in there a little bit. And then sprinkle the oat mixture over that and they're gonna bake in 350 degree oven for 22 minutes. So now after the apples are softened, just pour that right over. And just kind of stir them into the biscuits just a little bit. And I think I forgot to mention, this is gonna make enough for eight. So it'll be eight servings at the three points each. So now I'm just taking the oat mixture and just topping that. And then this is gonna bake in a 350 degree oven for about 22 minutes. So this has been out of the oven, I've let it cool. So one thing I forgot to mention, normally when I do bubble ups, I always put the biscuits down in the bottom first and then I pop them in my oven for about five minutes just so that they cook through a little bit better. I've found that when I make bubble ups, sometimes, I don't know if it's a difference in ovens, but sometimes the biscuits are a little bit doughy. I forgot to do that this time. So after the 22 minutes, it just didn't look like the topping was real golden yet, and it didn't look like the biscuits were as puffy as they should be. So I did keep it in the oven for an extra five minutes, and then I put it under the broiler for about a minute, just to kind of get it a little bit golden on the, on the top. So now I'm gonna cut this into eight pieces. Look at that. Oh, it looks so good, it smells good too. That is what it looks like. And I wasn't even thinking, I should have left this warm because I love warm apple crisp or apple pie. So something you could do is definitely you could heat this up. So now I'm gonna put this on my scale and I'm gonna put some fat-free Ready Whip on it. So you can have four tablespoons of this for zero points or 10 calories. So four tablespoons is 10 grams. All right. There we go. All right, let's try this. Oh my gosh. You guys, this is so, so good. This is going to be made for Thanksgiving. I cannot believe how good this is. So my take on the biscuits is I do feel now like the bottom of it is a little bit too cooked. So I think next time I definitely, rather than keeping it in there for the five minutes afterwards, I think I still will put it under the broiler at the end for a minute just cause it kind of did make the oats a little bit crispy. Oh my gosh, y'all, this is so good. I can't tell you how good this is warmed up this is going to be amazing it, it's just it's so good so again the way that i made it it's three points on all programs and 130 calories for the apple pie bubble up and then i put 10 calories worth of ready whip on there 
So let me know in the comments if you try this and if you like it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like these type of videos. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll talk to you in my next video. I'm Christy and I'm planning as healthy. You're perfect as you are. Just the way you